the installation of the official Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen display. Um, this is the first display to util utilize the DSi port on the Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi boards. So there are four models that are compatible with this display. The Raspberry Pi A+, the Raspberry Pi B+, the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B, the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. Here we have with us a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B with us uh, with the onboard Wi-Fi and heat sinks. So um, getting started, uh, just open the box. There are several components that come with the box. Um, here, take that. So we have the display itself. We have uh, a DSi to DPI conversion board. What a DPI is is display parallel interface that uh, actually hooks up to the uh, LCD itself. Uh, to get to do this installation, you're going to need uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, with an SD card, a uh, two amp power supply, uh, and a uh, screwdriver. Make sure if you're using noobs to have full noobs fully installed via HDMI first, because if you simply have the noobs files copied onto the SD card and try to boot off it, you'll get no video and uh, it won't work. So we actually sell uh, 8 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte SD cards with Raspbian fully installed. So you can purchase those on the links below and those will work out of the box if you put it into your Raspberry Pi. Uh, so it comes with four wires, uh, four standoff screws, and four screws for mounting Raspberry Pi on top of the standoffs. And here's a DSi uh, cable, as well as the display itself. So there are some newer uh, versions of this, uh, or there's new new packaging with uh, display, with the newer displays that already have this board mounted. So it all depends on which version you get. The displays themselves and the boards are the same. It's just that the newer ones already have it pre-installed. So we're going to first mount the DSi, I mean, sorry, this adapter board onto the display. Um, the way it works is um, there's the fat DSi cable here, and we would want to mount it like this. And then there's the touchscreen controller, which is here, and we will mount insert it into this Lot. This is a funky installation because uh, one's on the back and one's on the front. So there's a clip here that you pull out, that you can close and pull out. Um, first, we're going to do this. We're going to put this on the side. Uh, we're going to see how this is going to get mounted. We're going to put this on the flat on its side. We're going to insert the DPI cable in. Uh, make sure it's all the way in uh, on both the left side and the right side because if you don't do this correctly, you'll short circuit one of the wires with another, uh, you'll crisscross the wires and then short circuit uh, the board or something, and that could possibly cause damage. Make sure to ground yourself before doing this because some of these devices are electrostatically sensitive. So we just literally push the cable in and then pull the clips down to secure it. And then on the other side, the touchscreen controller cable is here. So we pull, pull it out. We insert the connector in. Uh, once it's fully seated, we just push in the clips. Um, so next, we're going to mount the standoffs. You can do this by hand. Um, I don't know the torque specification, but normally by hand will do. So the next step is to connect the DSI cable as well as the uh, power to this board. So how it works is this micro USB port, you take your original power supply, plug it into here, and then the way you power the Raspberry Pi is through these wires. So 
you don't actually power the Raspberry Pi itself. It's powered through the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi board. So let's connect this DSi first. The, these DSi connectors, always remember the contacts are on the other side of the clips. So, so for example, here, right, the clip is on this side, so the contact must be on this side of the connector. This is the DSi connector, and this is a CSI for the camera. Um, so since this is um, on the bottom side, the contact side will go like this, with the blue side coming out on top. Uh, make sure that it, you get it correct, that it's nicely fitted inside the board. Don't Make sure that it's not like this, because what happens is you can actually short circuit the board because the pins, the contact pins will crisscross to other ones. So you push that in, it's nicely seated, um, and then just push the clips in on both ends. So um, then the next thing is to connect the power. So you really need just two wires. You need the five volt wire which goes on the first pin, and the ground wire, which goes on the last pin. Next, we mount the Raspberry Pi board. So the board goes on like this, and you can screw it on with the screws. We do have a case that uh, attaches on top of this that will basically protect the Raspberry Pi as well as the, um, the, the display itself. So this is secured and the final screw goes in. Okay, so so let's attach the DSI cable first. Oops, I installed it on the wrong side. <laughs> Funny, I make that mistake. Yeah, like I said, the the contact side should be always against the, this flap here. So it should be like this with the with the contact pins on top. And then the flap is on this side, so the contact pins should face against the flap. And make sure it's fully seated and just push down. And the way to power this is, um, so you're actually powering the Pi from the adapter board. Um, these two pins, number one and number two, on the top, uh, on the corner here, are five volt power. So uh, you're sending power from the board to the Raspberry Pi. So either one will work. And then uh, pin three on the top right. So it's actually pin six. So it's pin two, four are five volt, and pin six is the ground. Um, and then from the uh, board's position, it's the second, it's the first and the second are 5 volt, and the third pin is the ground. Uh, next, we take our uh, 2 amp power supply, we plug it in. So the, we have a switch attached to this one, so it doesn't power on immediately. Oh, oops, this should go in the adapter board, not the display. I mean, in the display adapter board, not in the Raspberry Pi. So, so here is the full installation. So we have the DSI cable connected, the power cable connected to the Raspberry Pi, the the input power, the micro USB power connected to the adapter board, and then the electricity will flow from here through the adapter boards to the Raspberry Pi, uh, and then 
There's the screen. We'll do. We'll click. We'll turn it on. I will adjust the AE so that we can see the screen. Okay, so here's the touch screen display. So you can just uh, use it three times three. Remember, this this has Raspbian fully installed. So if you're using noobs, you have to install that on an HDMI monitor first, or else it'll just get black video. Um, they have an onboard uh, keyboard program that's on the Raspberry Pi website. So if you just Google Raspberry Pi and on screen keyboard, you'll find it. Um, so everything pretty much works out of the box. You don't have to do any software configurations. Um, if you have, have an existing Raspbian installation that's a little older, you should run RPI update and make sure that um, the display, that everything's set up correctly in Raspbian config. Um, and that's about it. So I'm going to shut down. And then on shutdown, some of the, um, depending on what firmware version you're using, this display might not uh, actually shut down. So older versions of Raspbian, you get like a sort of a white picture with lines all over. And with the newer versions of Raspbian, it turns off the display completely. So there you have it. Um, then we can turn it off. And uh, you have a fully functioning uh, Raspberry Pi 7-inch display with your Pi board. The cool thing to do is run Kodi or, um, or um, RetroPie. So you can do gaming on this, and it becomes sort of like a little portable computer. If you have a, a sufficient power, of course, you need like a battery pack that does 5 volt. So you know those cell phone battery packs? You can use one of those to make a portable gaming station. Uh, there you have it. So uh, like this video if you thought it was helpful. Um, if you still have any some issues, please let us know in the comment section below. Uh, or email uh, cs at loverpi.com. We we'll, can help you out. Like We don't really care who you bought the screen from will help you through the problems that you may encounter.